Well, good morning everybody or evening or whatever time it is where you're at. Um, got the drill still tore apart. Had somebody ask me to make a video on the differences between a 1590 and a 1560. And I'm going to kind of throw in differences that I know of the 750s also. So we'll start. The 750s, they have a really weird gauge or uh, closing wheel on the back, which I guess I'll tear. These set and run like that at an angle. And on the 750s, instead of having the bearing in this hub, this cast hub here, they had the bearing in the wheel. Well, with that setting at an angle, like so, um, they had a tendency to have the bearings go bad because they're they get full of dirt. So that's one difference on a 750. Um, a 750 on the bearings on the disc, on those opening discs, they will have uh, more like a wheel bearing style hub where this has just a, a double row um, bearing on it. I'm not sure if I got one handy. I don't think I do. Um, anyhow, it's got just a double sealed bearing in it, so it's not greasable at all where the old ones, the 750s, I believe, were. Um, the, that's the main difference, is, I guess, and the box is a lot smaller on a 750. You can see where on the top this is triangle shape, and the 750 box is the end of it's right there. So this holds 20 more bushel. I think this holds 70 bushel when it's full of seed. So that's that. So now the differences that I know between a 1560 and a 1590. Um, main difference is the seed boot. That's the seed, the seed tube coming down, going to the ground. And you can see this is the seed boot here. With this side's the disc side, so the disc runs right next to this. And you can see there's a slit right here. And on a 1590, this boot is all solid. The whole thing's solid. Um, the reason they switched to this or tried it was because when you had the bottom, this is a wear piece here, the surface. So when that surface got wore, you could just take this bolt out and replace the bottom. Um, they said they had problems with seed placement. I have not seen it myself. Um, I planted cover crop, alfalfa, wheat, um, rye, oats. Um, I don't think I planted soybeans yet, but anyhow, with all that being said, I think they just changed it. I don't know if the parts were costing more to manufacture or what the main reason was to change it, but that's what they've done. So the second biggest difference on the drills are they've got the three pivot points. They've got one two, three. And on 1560s, most of them, these three points are not greasable. They are just, uh, you know, when the bushing wears out, you replace them, which is the job I'm doing right now. I'm not doing the front bushing right there. I'm doing the two back ones. But these three points are greasable or on, on a 1590, most of them. And some 1560s may as they were switching over. I'm not sure exactly when they switched, but the reason they went to, they were greasable and they weren't for a while, and then now they're back to being greasable, is if you grease them every day, you know, these, you can push the dirt out and help prolong the life of your bushings. But if you don't grease them every day, the grease gets hard and uh, it locks them up so then your stuff don't move like it's supposed to. So they found out if you don't grease them it actually works better but you don't have the life so they've gone back and forth. Um, that is the main difference between a 1560 and a 1590. Those bushings or greasable bushings and those points there and the seed boot. Now a lot of 1560s are switched over to a single piece seed boot now. You can buy them from Soups. I buy most of my parts. I actually ordered all these parts from Soup for the drill I'm working on now. 
Um, the next thing on some of the later models, I'm not sure when they switched. I think it was 06 they switched these wheels. And that's why I'm replacing the whole wheel and not just the, the bearing. They've actually gone to a narrower, a narrower um, packing wheel, firming wheel, because the seat slot isn't quite actually wide enough for, for that wheel there. This is an inch wide. I think the new ones are only three quarters of an inch or something. I can't remember, but they're narrower and they come more to a point. And you'll see them when I get them put on here, but um, I'm going to buy aftermarket ones and not buying deer ones. But they're, they fit in the seed slot better because between a 1590 and a 1560, they've changed the angle of the disc just slightly. And the wider wheel they found out is not, is just too wide for the slot on a 1560 and a 1590. So anyhow, I guess those are the other... Those are the differences that I know of. Uh, I'm sure there's a few more that I don't know of, but I guess take it at that. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more. Um, I got several projects going on right at the moment, so these videos might be a little messed up when they come out. But anyhow, thanks. Bye.